PHP MyAdmin is a very popular free web application that can be used to manage your MySQL databases. You can download the most recent version of PHP MyAdmin from this website, www.phpmyadmin.net. But I've included a copy of PHP MyAdmin in the exercise files that come with this course. And I'll show you how to install that version. I'll go to the free exercise files folder and double click into the PHP MyAdmin folder. You'll find a zip there including PHP MyAdmin 3.4.3.2. And there's also a configuration file, one for Windows and one for Mac OS X. To install PHP MyAdmin, first extract the contents of the zip file. I'll extract the contents of the zip file directly to the desktop by right-clicking and choosing Extract All, and then Extract. Now you can use any zip utility you like, WinZip or anything else, because this file is in simple zip format. Go to the extracted folder, which has the same name as the zip file, and double-click into it. You'll find another folder there of the same name. And then drag that folder into your document root folder. I'll open a new copy of Windows Explorer. I'll position this one over on the right and the original one over on the left. In the right window, I'll go to C colon Apache htdocs, and then I'll take this folder and drag it over to the right one. I'm done with that copy of Windows Explorer, so I'll close it. And now for this folder, I'll rename it. I'll press F2 and call it simply PHP My Admin, all lowercase. That'll just make it easier to call from the browser. That's basically it. PHP My Admin has been installed, but there are a couple of configurations that I recommend. Let's first test it from a browser. I'll go to my browser and I'll type in http colon slash slash localhost slash php my admin. Notice that I see a listing of files. This is because of a configuration that needs to be made in the Apache web server, not in PHP or in PHP My Admin. So, as I have before, I'm going to open up the httpd.conf file in a text editor. I'll go to C colon Apache, C O N F, and I'll open the file. Now, I'm going to search for the string index.html. This takes me to an option named directory index. By default, the Apache server is set up to default to HTML files. I want instead to default to PHP files, because that's the kind of file I'm primarily going to be using. So, I'll change this from index.html to index.php. I'll save and close the file. I'll return to my services control panel and restart the server. Now I'll go back to the browser and refresh. And this time PHP My Admin appears, showing me a login screen. I'll type my username and my password. This is the MySQL password that you set up when you installed MySQL in a previous video. I'll click the Go button, and that opens up PHP My Admin. Now it's also possible to configure PHP My Admin to open automatically using your username and password from a configuration file. Here's how you do that. I'll close all these other windows. I'm pretty much done with those. Then I'll go to the free exercise files to the PHP My Admin folder again. I've provided a file that configures PHP My Admin on Windows using a minimal set of configuration options. I'll open the file in a text editor and show you that there are four options. The first three have to do with the login option. I put in the username and the password explicitly. Again, this is the username and password for MySQL. And I've set auth type to a value of config. You should change the password setting to your password. So if you used something else, something more secure, change it here. I've also added an option called allow user drop database and set it to a value of true. This will make sure that you as an administrator can drop or delete databases from your MySQL database. By default, PHP My Admin doesn't let you do that. Now here's how I'll use this file. I'll go back to Windows Explorer and I'll copy this file to the clipboard. Then I'll go to C colon Apache, htdocs, PHP My Admin, 
and I'll paste the file into place, pressing Ctrl V. Now I need to rename the file. I'll press F2, and I'll change the file name to config.inc.php. That's all you have to do. Now I'll make sure that I've closed all my browser windows so that I'm logging in for the first time again. I'll open a new browser window and once again I'll go to http colon slash slash localhost slash php my admin. If you see the login screen initially that's okay. Press control R to refresh the page and this will reload the application and this time it loads without your having to type in your username and password again. This sort of configuration is great for local development. It is however not particularly secure so I only recommend using this minimal configuration on a local development copy of this application. If you want to put phpMyAdmin on your production server, read through the phpMyAdmin documentation for their recommendations on the best settings to use. There is also a file here called config.sample.inc.php, which you can learn a lot from. It has a lot of common configurations that you can use in your own copy of phpMyAdmin. But with this smaller configuration file that I provided, you have everything you need to do local development and manage your local databases.